Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with my standard TN um, planner, journal, all that kind of good stuff. So I did my monthly, I did it in Nativity, so I kind of wanted to come back and do another Nativity with you guys. Um, all my planner stickers are from DEK Designs and there is a link below with a discount code. So please, please, please help yourself. Um, and anytime you purchase, even if it's something that doesn't take a discount code, if you can always put K-R-I-S in the comment box, that helps me immensely. Now, welcome to this channel. If you are new, we are so happy you're here. Say hello. We'd love to say hello back. If you are a committed subby, and so many of you are, you're just so wonderful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. You know, I pray for you and think about you, and I'm just so thankful for each of you. So, um... All right, so like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It tells you when new videos come up, and leave a comment, and feel free to forward this to anybody that it would encourage. Now, last week, I did a planner um, planning. It was my wallet planner that um, I use as a wallet. It's a little bitty. It's not a tiny planner. It's a personal planner, I believe is the size. And um, this one is my planner I leave at home. It's kind of my all-in-one. It catches everything. So... Um, I have this gorgeous, if you've missed any of this, I've got tons of my DEK. Um, this came from Allie Edwards. This is for the December Daily. I love these. I'm keeping it out. I've got tons of miscellaneous. I've got, you know, um, what are these? You know, your daily icons. Grateful for all of that. So I've got extra goodies here. Plus I've got the gorgeous Christmas overlays. And then I've got this gorgeous nativity kit. Now, you can get them with foil on them, or you can get them without foil on them. And I think they're both great. So, all right. Now, um, you can see I've already used one, and I'm totally good with that. And I'm just going to pull out what I need, and then we will get started. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, for anybody who's going to ask about my nails, they are Red Aspen. That's listed below the email website all the, I mean the website the whole thing and I just did a video on them sharing about what are these nails about they are so weird looking or no they're not weird they're great looking <laughs> I love them they work perfectly for me and I'm very thankful for them so I'm going to go ahead and use the glitter and yeah okay so you can tell some of these are glitter some of these are not so I'm going to save these for my um my own personal journal and for my uh I've got Christmas projects I'm working on over here. So come on back. We're doing all kinds of projects this week. And you know me, got to get it done. So, all right, I'll put those. Whoops, I will take that off. That's a non-glitter. This is a glitter. And I think, yep, that's a non-glitter. And this, I think, is a non-glitter. But I'll keep that on top in case I need the others. So, all right, now, so let me start. I just... Uh, finished this particular because I missed getting things done last week and I was explaining where I was last week so I've got to go in and backfill for memory keeping so a lot of times you can use your planner as a planner as a checkoff list as a reminder but you know to help keep you organized but you can also use it as your memory keeping and I think for me I think that was the joy I found years ago I was it was my second school to administrate. Um, the people who I worked for were attorneys. And um, <laughs> it wasn't like working for a church school. There was nothing wrong with it. It was a pri privately owned school. I went in for a kindergarten, kindergarten teaching position after our daughter died. And within two weeks was the director and um, principal. And I genuinely, um, I really do prefer her, um, church, you know, doing working ministry, you know, in a school. Um, I did my job and I did it to the best that I knew how. I learned a lot. But the one thing I learned there was keep copious notes. So I always had a journal with my assistant at all times. And um, also, I, it was for my own sake. And then I kept a, um, what were those called? It's uh, not a daily, but it had a certain name. Anyways, it was basically a business planner. And I would use different color pens. I mean, it was always kind of crafty. So, 
but I love looking back at that because that was a ton of lessons taught in a very short amount of time and really hyper, hyper, you know, situation. And, um, and those little dots are a little bit big, but I'm going to do something different, so it'll be fine. Um, but I really, 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 um, one of the things I learned was that planners have, there's a reason for them. And if you use them like a journal, it really helps you um, kind of record maybe even your thoughts, not only what you did, but your thoughts. Um, my, I was glad I did that because I was able to take away like this work, this didn't work. I never want to do this again. I want to do this again. You know how you do. So it was, it was really good. I mean, I was very, very, very thankful for it. So, um, usually I come in and put dates or days and all of that, but I knew when I saw this, I wanted to start right here and put the nativity here. And yes, next week is Christmas. So that's the very reason I am doing this now. I mean, I tell you what, I can't even keep it straight because I was thinking, oh no, am I early? Is it Christmas next week? It is. Are you ready? We have our tree up. It's beautiful. I'm going to try to get something on Instagram. Um, my youngest daughter and I did that, and she did a great job. And um, she actually filled in more decorating the house while I was trying to get other things done. As you all well know, I have been working feverishly on our class and the different things that are going to be going on. And um, loving it. Absolutely loving the opportunity. So... I think I'm going to put my angel over here. She's missing her hand. Huh. Okay. So, but um, it has been, we have um, a few people signed up. One may not be able to because um, they may be sick. And so just keep in prayer, everybody that are subscribers here. But it is a year long, um, basically finding joy in our journey in 2021. So, and, you know, healing. It needs to be a time of healing right now, and I literally got off the phone today with somebody who is in a very bad situation. They were asking me to pray, and I said, of course I'll pray, and um, just really heartbreaking. Um, somebody I love very much in my life, and um, not my kids, so don't worry, because I'll get that question really quick. It's not my children. Um, my kids are doing fine. Um, everybody's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, but it is somebody who I love a great deal, who means a great deal to me. And, um, yeah. Okay, these will go over here for my journal. Um, it's just a rough situation. And, um, you know, we, we never know when we're young what we do that will affect us later. And not to say that he did anything wrong, but, um, it definitely things come back. And it's just so heartbreaking. Um... You know, I, I listen, and I pray, and I just want to say, be wise, slow down, make good decisions. If you believe in the Lord, pray about it. You know, go to Him, ask Him. As a Christian, I do. And, um, yeah, you know, and I always say, try to find joy in your journey, and I will always say that. Um, yeah, so just one of those on top of everything else. And I knew when he kept reaching out when I was sick, I knew there was a problem. And, um, yeah. You know, you know, actually, I think what I'm going to do, since I don't use that bottom one, I will come down here. Let's hope it will fit. All right, now, I think I'm just going to come off of this. But we are all, everybody, um, even you guys, you know, we all learn in these situations. And, you know, I was able to be a bit more bold. Um, my husband was quickly telling me, you need to say this and you need to say this. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but um, it was fine. And I said, actually, I already said those things. And I know that there would be other family members who would tell me the same thing. So, you know how that goes. <laughs> Gotta love them. <laughs> Nobody wants to say it, but they want me to say it. So, I did. And, um, 
you know, somebody that we all love and just a rough situation. So you go through those things and all I can say is, you know, trust the Lord, go to him and do your very best. And when you're young, make good decisions. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many young people I've worked with over the years and I have just said over and over and over and over. You need to work on your decision making. <laughs> you know, really, whoops, I'm getting everything stuck. Sorry, guys. You need to make sure you're making good decisions. You need to look at the long-term effect. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just a grumpy guess, but, you know, but seriously, I mean, we all need to hear that. I need to hear that. We all need to hear it, so. Okay, and that tore a little bit, but I am not worried. And I find, because there is a gap on this, I'm going to put that same gap from where the stickers are, you know, apart from when they print them and cut them. So, here, hold on, I'm just making a mess. I need to do it right, get my X-Acto knife. But it's it's all good. I mean, in the end, um, you know, we just have to genuinely, you know, do the best we can. And there are those that will say things that are not real. They will do all kinds of things. And, um, and this person goes through a lot of that. Um, you know, there is a, there's a lot to be learned in Proverbs. And the first 10 to 15 chapters of Proverbs talks about walking with wise men. And I have said this forever to my husband, to my children, you know, etc., and to friends and students. And, you know, we think we know and we're fine, even though we're aligned with certain people. Um... You really have to be smart about it. And who do you really trust? And can you really trust them? And all that kind of good stuff. So um, I did not say anything about that today. I was very good. <laughs> For those who are going to ask me, I did not say anything. But I felt like it. So, you know, I mean, it just is what it is sometimes. And the reason that that looks funny right there is there should be a gap. So what I'm going to do is scoot this over just a hair. But so... Anyway, so as we have our own children grow up and move on and begin their lives, I'm hoping I can get this up. This paper is really teary today. Um, we have had rain. I'm not going to pull it up. And so everything is responding blue and everything is responding weird. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm good. All right, now I want something to come across here. So I've got those, but there's not enough. Oh, and I need my star and I need my... Oh, wise men. So, let me put these on over here first, and then I will do the rest. So, I'm going to put my wise men down here. Maybe, no, maybe I'll come up above. That's what I'll do. I'll come up above. But, anyway, so one of those kind of conversations today was somebody that you love and want the best for, and yet, you know, you have to be sometimes... Um, you have to love them enough to say something. And I think James Dobson wrote a book on that. Um, love Enough. Oh, what is that book? If any of you know that book, please please link it below. Or leave a comment below and tell me what it is. Um, but we have to love somebody enough to speak the truth. And that's not always easy. You know, it just isn't. It isn't always easy. So, I'm putting that star here. It doesn't quite map. Actually, why don't I come up higher? Let's see. Well, this come up. I didn't push very hard yet. Um, but basically, I think he's talking about using tough words, you know, and um, I think that's what was called for today. But, and I need them myself a lot of the time. Look, you know, I am a not, never above reproach. <laughs> I am definitely, um, I have my own faults. So, okay, this one's gone. I'll let that baby go. It feels so good when we finish these. <laughs> Any of you that are part of my channel, you know how much I love to finish my sticker sheets. It just makes my day. And on these, I will, whatever is just straight blue, whatever I don't use this month, I'll use next month. Because I always, 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 always use the color blue. Um, I don't know why. It's just what I do um, for the month of January. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> A lot of things come out that are winter that you can use for Christmas and for January and winter, you know, that kind of a thing. And by the time you get to um, February, you know, red, kind of, you're kind of back to red and pink. So, yeah. So, and then I like blue in the, the summer 
because of, um, I grew up on the coast, so I think of the water a lot. <laughs> a lot. So, all right, what did I do with my scissors? There they are. They're just in there sticking out funny. So, but anyway. All right, so I'm going to put this up, put that back, and yeah. So, I, even though it still looks like I have a lot of stuff here, and I do. Um, my daughter is supposed to work on my cottage, so hopefully she's going to get that done. Um, if not, before Christmas, after Christmas, it has to get done, and then we move out. Um, but I at least want to get out of this room, spare bedroom. We'll see what we can do after that. Um, I'm not in any super hurry. I was thinking with the um, the vaccine coming, maybe we needed to hurry, but no, it's not. We're, we're not going to be affected us right away. And see, I could even use this in winter, so I'm not even super worried about using a lot of that. So, because I think I'm just going to do three lists kind of deals. Um, three checkoffs this week. So, and then for this channel, I'll have a bit more. So, let me see here. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use one of these. And I think, I think I will. I think I'll go with the light, the dustier blue. But, um... So I do not, and I have been told um, already that we are way down the list um, for his eligibility. Even though I'm autoimmune compromised, I will be way down the list. And I was talking to my son yesterday, and I was telling him that after we come out of this, I will go get the gel in my knees. I will try it, and then I will go. And even though that has a wise man, I'm not going to worry about that for next year. I'm just going to use what I have and bloom where I'm planted. So, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so there we go. Jesus needs to be on Friday. And he was so happy, he goes, I'm so happy to hear that, that you're going to do it. And I said, I'm going to try the gel, I'm going to go to a rheumatologist, and if it doesn't work, then I will have the surgery, um, if everything is clear by next summer. And he was like, thank you, thank you, that's all I want to hear. And I said, yes. I need to get my knees fixed and my husband has said he will put in a ramp into the front part of the house I almost fall going up and down that step a lot so I really want him to get that done <laughs> and so but we're you know I mean it just takes time sometimes we don't always know what we're gonna do and what we're not gonna do you know so let me see I don't really like this dark so I think I'm gonna put it on here uh, because I don't want to use that as little black as possible in January. Um, I really just want to stick with the blues. So, so and it, it matches this perfectly, and it looks beautiful with this. And I just don't know how it will look come January. And I will have to use a white pen, which I have one right here, so that's totally good. And yeah, I will use that here. So, so that's an update there. And it's all good. And guys, there are going to be tons and tons and tons of tutorials um, in year 2021. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I want, I love teaching and I want to make sure that I am always teaching on this channel. Um, we've done a lot of camps and things like that, which are wonderful and I enjoy them. I think I have all these crooked. Um, but I need to go back to teaching and I really need to get some things done for my Etsy shop. And I just decided, you know, I, there are tons of projects that have been piled up. As you all well know, if you've been in this channel, been a part of this channel for any length of time. So it's time. It's time. We're going to get that done. Okay, now I'm going to use some of those. I'm going to put that away. Don't need that. And I will use up some of these. So Sunday is rest. And I think I'm just going to come in with a pen. Yep. So, that is not one that I already have open. So, let's use one of these. Yep, these are the Sharpie, you know, fine tip. So, I'm just going to do my horrible handwriting. But, we will get it done. So, there'll be tons of tutorials. Um, Etsy's going to be opening. I still have that year-long class. There will be... A shorter whoops I boo booed there but I will just quickly cover that up I will do a shorter set of classes as well that are going to be fun with kits 
Um, I'm going to do a Valentine. I'm going to do an uh, spring, and that'll include Easter, Passover, whatever it is that you like to do. And I am going, you know, Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> yeah. And I am going to also do a summer. And we will still have the fall Bible, you know, fall, winter, spring, summer. The seasonal Bible journaling camps will always continue. They will always be free. So, and then I'll have just some Bible journaling tutorials, which you guys know how much I love those. So, okay, the little exercise girl has to go up here. And actually, that was what I was planning to do, was cover those up with these little guys. And then Hump Wednesday, or Wednesday hump day. There we go. I know that was dumb. Anyway, sorry. And I think this week I'm going to try to get some laundry done, but I'm trying to get all my other projects done. So, yes. Um, I'm just going to cut that out. I will save that for January. And then I'm going to come in with some of these. Let me see. Um, I thought there was a birthday cake one. Hold on. I'm going to pull it in tight. I am going to redo my nails next weekend, so I will put that down. Um, the next set are going to be like um, glitter, uh, gold glitter. So I am loving these nails. They're for, by Aspen Nails. You can see the link below. And yes, I am an affiliate because I love them. They are too much fun. Um, I may use that in a journal, so I'm going to set that back there. And I've got a ton of journals piled up behind me to work on. So I'm super excited to work on those. And I think I'm going to put that for the journal as well. So um, I use my DEK stamps. I use them for everything from memory keeping to journal making to um, scrapbooking, which is memory keeping, um, to Bible journaling, the whole thing. So, yes, I do not throw anything away. And you know me. I want to get the most bang for my buck. <laughs> yeah, no. So, and then, well, let me see here. Is there anything else I want to put in here? Um, I did have, oh, I did do it. Okay, to close. And, oh, I wanted to find a birthday cake. So, hold on, guys. Oh, I think that was it. Let me see here. But I see a present. So, I think I'm going to do that. And... I've shared about this before, um, a long time ago, uh, about a year ago, I um, found out, I'm going to put that here for Jesus' birthday, so that's just a gift with a star and all kinds of glitter and fun, let me see if you guys can see that, sorry for the glare if there is any, so it's just a little present that's shaped in a star with all kinds of confetti, so for Jesus' birthday, and oh, you know what, that might be cute, I mean, metaphorically, but yeah, let me see if I can get it up. It might be cute over this to be the star, even though it's a little bit different. I don't know. But um, I am going to, after my birthday, and probably I will take the week off or the day or weekend or whatever for my anniversary, but I am going back to Trim Healthy Mama. Um, we've eaten a little bit of meat. I have gained weight like that. Um, it is amazing. Um, I guess, um, due to my knees, I don't exercise as much. Excuse me. That was a big gulp. Um, but, um, I'm going to try to be sure I get that done. So I'm going to put that there as a checklist. Um, yeah. So I think eating, and I don't eat that much meat, but it has just like put weight on like that. I'm not kidding you. So I like Mary and Bright. I'm trying to see maybe that would fit, and it does. So I'm going to put that there since there's nothing there to need to be written on. Let me see here. I want again, want to make sure. Don't mess up with my list making because if I do, I can just cut it short. And actually, I think I'm just going to lay it right there. And even if it overlays, I don't mind. So, Merry and Bright. And, <laughs> I mean, these have such pretty pictures. I don't like covering them up too much. 
but this will be one of my last weeks in 2020 so I'm gonna put that up here and then I will come back with December probably with my pen and I want it to be we wish you a Merry Christmas on here I think I'm gonna put that right there no nope, right here I'm trying to see where it'll fit and then I can still make my list right there and I think that's it um we look really quickly I do need to write December and I'll do that real quick oh it's so hard to believe we're gonna be in 2021 what a year what a year to learn and grow and uh, I know that we probably don't want to learn and grow like this ever again but we have to focus on what's positive right focus on the positive not on the negative so I do love that, but I think I'll save that. Don't need that. Let me see. And there's for YouTube. Will that fit? Yeah, why not? So that will be just basically for my Josephine's designs. And then I also, I need to set up, this is Amazon delivery, which we are having tons of Amazon deliveries right now. But I'm going to put that there because I need to get my Amazon shop up. You know, I got on it like six months ago trying to figure out how to put up, set up an Amazon shop. And all of a sudden, it seems like either I changed or it changed. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put my gratitude list here. I'm just going to come across here like that. There we go. And... Yeah, so if you guys are not keeping a gratitude list, can I just say, keep one. Um, when we got finished with our fall Bible journaling camp, the attitude of gratitude needs to be held on to all year long. I just can't say that enough. No joke. So I'm going to put Happy Meal here. I am trying not to bother our post office very much, but I have some things that are being mailed to me, so I have to pick up. I did not go once last week because... It didn't set well a few weeks ago, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm learning, learning, learning. I would love to put joy to the world. I wonder if it'll show, and it will. So I'm just going to over, woo, be careful with the overlays, but you know what? It's okay. It, only I'm going to know that it was a little bit crooked. I don't know if you can see that, but it says joy to the world, and I think that's pretty. Um, and have yourself a Merry Christmas. So I'm going to save these. I'll use these in my other. I will cut out the DEK.com. I did this last week and I loved it. And I just used it on my planner. And it's so easy that way. Um, I basically work on Wednesday, Sunday. Um, and our Sabbath is Saturday. So I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. So if you want to know what's going on with me outside of Plan With Me's, you can always go to Instagram and I will always have up the current sale. And I'm always thankful for that. I'm always, always, always thankful for the sales because, you know, this all got started with me asking if I could get a discount coupon code for y'all. And that's how I was asked, you know, to be a part of it. And after they saw my channel and things like that. So um, what a blessing that has been for me um, because I love doing planning videos for y'all, but I need to be careful because it gets expensive. And so this is just a blessing beyond our words. And I'm so thankful for them. And not only that, everybody is amazing. So I'm going to put this little phone. It's so cute. And um, this is one of the freebies that um, got included in one of my orders. And I'm tearing it wrong. Okay, it's a Sue. <laughs> but we have Wednesday... And that's usually one of the days that I work, Wednesday hump day. And if not, I always make sure to check, you know. So I think I'm done. This is a very different planner for me. I've never planned and looked like this. Um, but I'm happy with it. I mean, it, it, there are things that we just have to make things work for us, right? So that is for Josephine's design. This is for the partnership. Um, and any kind of tax practice and estate and I have a, one thing I have to do for the estate this week for sure I'd like to do the second one but we'll see and then this is for my gratitude list um, I will come back in here and just put um, 
Let's see, is there anything decorative I can put in there? I've got one of these. Oh, I like that. Um, hmm. I think I'll just put the trees. Well, yeah, I can use this. That'll be good. So, almost fit. Um, oh, you know what? I can get one of those skinny ones. Hold on, guys. Um, but, um, I'm hoping you guys are, um, enjoying some of the changes. I know for me, uh, I hope to get back to my roots and then just keep doing all my other goodies that I enjoy. And there's been a lot of soul searching, I have to say here lately of what we're going to do, what we're not going to do. And, um, yeah, so it's been good. It's all good. It's good, good, good. Nothing bad. <laughs> So, as I always say, we got to find joy in our journey, no matter what the journey is, and I mean it. I mean, there is just so much in life that if we let it get us down, we will just be miserable. And why do it? Seriously. So, okay, so I'm going to take this little skinny one. I know. Let's hope it fits. And it matches enough. It's blue. The rest is dark, but I'm good with that. That looks good. And I'd love to put something across here. So, let me see here. Why don't I keep coming across? But, um, yeah, and a lot of soul searching as to what God wants me to do, where we're going, and our next steps as a family, um, and what works and what doesn't work. So, I'm sure you guys can all relate if we all go through this, but um, we've had some major events happen in our family, and... Um, you know, I had to decide, you know, what, what I could support, what I couldn't support, what we can do, what we can't do. Um, yeah, and I pay for it every time health-wise. So, you know, I get how this works. And look at this, guys. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> yes, if I could just get it to stick. Okay, there we go. Well, that got it. just doesn't want to stick. But, and that's a lot of what this class is going to be about, is going through... And really seeking God's will in our life and um, working on a relationship with him and how that affects us in this journey and it's important I mean guys if you don't know it's all important and I had noticed it was affecting my health and a lot lately and I don't want it to affect my health anymore how about y'all I'm done with that one um, so there's nothing wrong with feeling like that. There's nothing wrong with saying enough. That's okay. We don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> it's, and that's what I'm doing. Sometimes we just have to say those things. And not everybody takes it seriously when they should. Bless their hearts. But, you know, we have to do what's right. And we have to be obedient to God. I think I'm going to take that. Maybe one of those. I'll take one of these. Yeah. Then I will put that right here, I think, cover that gap. <clears throat> but in a lot of this class, we're talking about exactly those things. What should we be doing? What should we be focusing on? What should be, you know, what should be the plan for our lives? And um, how should we set up goals um, yearly, monthly, weekly, you know, daily? That is what goal setting is. So, you know, um, and I think when we get off of that and granted, um, we have to be open to, because things change, and so we have to be flexible, but we also have to not let other things get in your way. 